you guys have huge events coming up, like Spider Island. Uh, what are the big announcements that you have um, you know, after Fear itself? Have you guys made big announcements here? We, we have some big announcements at, at today's Cup of Joe panel, mm -hmm. where we'll be revealing a lot of the you know the often asked questions. Um, mm -hmm. And I think there's gonna be some uh, some uh, some buzz. Let's put it that way. What are your f oh oh? So the wasp is coming back. Cool. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big fan of comic books that that are modeled on genres. You know, like Shang Chi for you know, obvious reasons. Luke Cage, which is modeled on the black exploitation flicks I grew up with as a kid. Um, so I think for me, I love to see Shang Chi doing what he's unique to do, which is to use kung fu and that skill set. And uh, the attitude that I remember reading and digging as a kid, seeing that in the Marvel Universe, um, you know, I think it's an interesting collision with the uh, tights and superheroes and, and super villains that have all these powers. You know? Right, and the stuff that, that they were doing with Brobaker and Secret Avengers was amazing. Sure, I was saying, yeah. that was a really big arc. Are we going to see that going anywhere? Uh, you know, I actually don't know the answer to that question. I would assume you would, though, yes. Uh, you have the architects of the Marvel Universe. These guys like Brian Michael Bendis, Jonathan Hickman, they're in charge of kind of leading the ship. Uh, yeah. um, how much? Uh, uh, how often do you guys talk about this uh, uh, steering? Is it every week? Do you guys have monthly meetings? How do you guys put together the Marvel Universe? Well, we have at Marvel. We have we're called the House of Ideas for a reason, mm -hmm. which is to say that we have we think the best writers in the business. You know, uh, Bendis, Fraction, Blue Aaron, Baker. Blue Baker, and Hickman are the architects insofar as they're people that at this point in time are writing some of our biggest books and are. Uh, positioned for the future, mm -hmm. so you'll see some big things that are coming out. Um, that said, our our writing roster hardly ends with them. We have incredible writers, you know, from from you know, Rick from Andrews, Emerge of Amazing Star, Kieran Gillen, just go down the list. Dan Slott, Dan Way. Dan Slott's a, uh, a Spider Man is incredible. Exactly. You know, he's uh, that's one of those books that has upward inertia right now. Mm -hmm. um, he owns that book. So we're very, very proud. We think that we've got a good track record of finding writers who really groove to our characters, have something to say. And we try and uh, get out of the way to the degree that we can to let him tell the best stories. Now, in, in a meeting, it, when Brian Michael Bendis starts talking, do most people just zone out for 20 minutes and wait yeah, for Yeah, we barely listen right. to what he says, yeah. Finding new talent, like somebody like Rick Remender, like who did, who did Fear Agent, somebody like Jason Aaron, who did an amazing book in Scout. Uh, how do you look for new talent on the art side and on the uh, writing side? I think the, the it's not that difficult. You just, you know, you, you go out there and you read. Um, if there's any skill involved, I think is that you're able to intuit from what someone's writing um, what they might gravitate toward. Um, and if you don't know, you just speak with them. Um, you know, it, it, it's not rocket science. Uh, I think that the key thing is that if you find a writer from the independent you know, world or what have you, self-publishing world, that you find a way to have them land on the right thing. You don't give them what's called a poison chalice, mm -hmm. a really high-profile gig that doesn't play to their strengths. Right, and I'm excited about Rucka on Punisher. I'm excited about Mark yeah. Wade on Daredevil. I mean, I think those are great selections. Your work? Go ahead and say yes. Go ahead and say it's your uh, work. I, I, mean, I, I wish I could say it was. I have relationships with both those guys. You know, Rucka was my guy back at, right. uh, at Vertigo and, and at Marvel uh, initially before he, he went and worked for DC. I'm thrilled to have him back. I'm in complete support of Steve. Uh, it was Steve Wacker's idea, and I fully support him. 